When people act like, Maj, you are just picking on Con Inc. because of whatever reason. They don't invite you to the party. I don't give a fuck about the parties. I stop going to these events and places with these goofballs because they're not actually about limited government and personal freedom. They are Con Inc. That whole squad, all of them over there, are just saying semi-conservative catchphrases that don't got shit to do with limiting government, restricting government. It's just tap dancing. All of them over there. As soon as Candace got out of line, they kick her out the squad. And she was down with it. She was down with that shit until she wanted to express a little bit more. Walsh, Shapiro, all, even Peterson now. I got everything that I need to get from Peterson from his first couple of books. Now it's just on repeat. Now it's just the same shit. Now it's just trying to sound deep for deep, profound sake, as opposed to giving people simple shit that they could digest to improve their life with. That's what we come to like of these people. And then everybody want to play the game instead of them figuring out ways to be more evolutionary and things of that nature. They just want to take hot takes because they tap dancing for the Elon bucks, meaning engagement dollars. Shit like petty criminals should be caned like they do in Thailand. Pit bulls in America should be banned. Oh, raw milk should be banned. At a certain point, you got to recognize that these people just be saying shit for clickbait to get the energy. I'm making a video about it. This is what they want. The bigger point to be made here is not about the goofball shit that they say. It's them clamoring for attention, but pretending to be conservative. Politically conservative people would not advocate for somebody to ban a thing, a product. The founders took drugs. Drugs are not good for you. Duh, boys and girls. Duh. But when someone says, I want to use the power of the government to ban this thing that I don't like, like raw milk, people choose to drink milk. I don't drink milk. I don't drink milk. I'm not a fan of it. I try not to cross species. Cats don't generally drink dog milk. Dogs don't drink cat milk. Breast milk when you were baby, okay? However, if people choose to, that's on them. For thousands of generations, thousands upon thousands of years, humans have drank unpasteurized, non-homogenized milk. That has been a thing. Cooking something, cooking all of the nutrients out, and then making it cold and refrigerating it and then adding preservatives so it can travel for a long period of time is not the most healthy shit. So when there was local farms and I go over to that my cow and get the milk, as people have done for generations and eons, this was a thing. Pasteurization exists, so we should all do it as if there's no benefits. These are the same people that recognize that the Food and Drug Administration do things wrong to the product, or at least they say, or they're supposed to know. Either they know that and they're saying the opposite for clickbait, or they really are dumb, but either way, it speaks to somebody like a Walsh that's a one-trick pony. He knew that transgender and transitioning children was bad. Duh, everybody fucking knows that. Everybody knows that. You're not special because you knew, maybe I shouldn't trust the government in this whole vaccine shit. That's not smart. That's duh. Government is corrupt. Common sense shit that extreme weirdo leftists were trying to pretend that isn't common sense, and he became popular. The thing about it is that popular movement that he made off of common sense shit does not mean that he's intelligent in other areas. He's not an activist. He's not a constitutionalist. He would advocate for more and more government. This is the same person that advocated for caning people that were doing petty theft. Because Thailand does it, and look at their nice airport. That is not liberty-centric. These people that just because they got a fucking beard, and they wear flannel, and they smoke cigars and drink whiskey, that is not the definition of manhood. He doesn't even fucking work out. He's got weak fucking arms and shoulders. Stop listening to these men, blue collar, hardworking men that are leaders and got some skin in the game, not just behind their fucking cameras talking and sounding cute and might have one thing right. And I'm not saying that you, they, everybody that doesn't go to the gym is dumb or you shouldn't listen to. I'm saying that that person that is saying these types of things, you gotta consider the source and look at them from a holistic perspective. Shit, Ron Paul don't go to the gym, but he has a bajillion years of being right 
And no one can question if his merit and his positions have not been sound over the last 40 years. Failed deadpan comedians that now want to be movie stars and now they're trying to relive their situation through that. Either the person is genuinely for the Constitution or they're not. But stop thinking because somebody got one thing right and they got the outfit, the Patriot outfit, that somehow means that that transitions into their intelligence in other areas. It doesn't. But I don't know. Y'all might just think I'm mad and upset at Con Inc. and all of that because Maj, you keep getting kicked off of Instagram, whatever it is or whatever you think, or if you agree, comment below, tell me your perspective, as well as join the Solutionary 9 Telegram group for free. It is free until October the 1st, where you can go through health and fitness information, cultural conversations, politics, civics, as well as solutions to some of these issues, not just complaining about it. Join at the link below or comment the word Telegram and we'll send you the link. My name is Maj Toure, the founder of the Solutionary Lifestyle. Hope to see you in the group. Be safe. Be solutionary.